So most of us in the car world have a tablet, and a lot of us that have an Android tablet have the option of using Torque. Now, the Torque app is actually a huge advantage for a lot of people because it lets you run a lot of gauges that your ECU can actually read, but you're not really able to plumb something up because of restrictions, or sometimes you just don't want to get a $150 gauge to measure something that your car can already see. Now a lot of people run into the issue of not wanting to do their own torque layouts. They either use the defaults, they'll actually go in and purchase uh, some, of the torque, some of the torque themes that are available, and sometimes they'll even go through and just uh, use some of the free or some other user created ones. Now if you, if you want to do that, that's all fine and good, but if you want something very specific to your show car to match your theme of the interior, whether it's the gauge colors that you already have or it's the carbon fiber wrap that you want to match, you can actually do that modifying the Torque app on your own. So you can come up with the very specific configuration that you want. This is actually for designing how your gauge physically looks and the interface that you want to have displayed kind of like this example right here. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Now this first simple example is going to be what I created for Sexy Gen, so you can see his car here. And basically he wanted something to match his interior, but at the same time he didn't want something that was overly complicated. Obviously his car is, is very extravagantly done. He didn't want the tablet to be something that was super crazy and flashy. He wanted it to be a bit more simple. In the second video we're going to go ahead and cover how to make something a bit more flashy, a bit more custom, uh, unique interfaces for the gauges that you have. So with our tablet plugged into our computer, we're gonna access it, go into the torque, and into our theme directory. Now we're gonna find some samples of carbon fiber that we like for our background. We can also find some steel plate, some brushed aluminum, any sort of uh, picture that you like. Now don't do the mistake that I did here and type in background.jpg. You need to type in just regular background. So now we're going to go ahead and pull in, this is a, the same kind of gauge that SexyGen has, this is the Pro Sport Evo gauge. So we're going to pull that image in and we're going to start modifying it to, to get something that looks similar to that gauge so that we match the interior of the car. So right now all we're doing is just trimming out any excess uh, that we don't want to have. We're going to keep the border and we're going to try and match the interior with something similar. Uh, but we're going to go a little bit pl more plain on it and just keep a, a regular blue black background. So we're just matching the size, trying to get a good idea of, of what we're doing. At this point, I have no idea exactly what it's going to turn out like. So I'm sampling a few color palettes from Justin's car to figure out exactly what I, wanna, what I want that background color to be. So now I'm creating a full circle, I'm going to fill it in with that blue color that I chose and paint that to a new layer and see how I like that look. Now I'm going to increase the scale here a little bit so I do have overlap. So I'm just going to paste in the carbon fiber background that I want for the gauge and I'm going to shrink that down to scale. So I'm going to test out the, the carbon fiber background as well, in case you want something a bit more, uh, bit more detail oriented. Now you can also change the opacity and I'll show you a little bit about that later and what, what effect that creates. So we want to make sure that we trim down our size. We don't want to have our gauge in the middle of this giant canvas, so this is just shrinking down so we can uh, have our gauge looking just like this where everything is perfectly center. So now we're doing the same thing with the display gauge that they have set up. And basically this is just a square gauge as opposed to a circular gauge. So we're taking the one that came out of the directory that comes normally on your tablet in the Torque app and we're going to go ahead and just cut that out. We're modifying everything to fit perfectly. Um, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to flatten that image. We're going to uh, clean up a little bit of the edges here. We're going to desaturate it. We're going to remove that color uh, and that's going to make it black and gray and essentially it's going to match our, our other gauge really well. And we trimmed our carbon fiber and then we went ahead and put our background or our 
our edge on top of that. Now here's a, a free gauge that I downloaded and then I decided to change it a little bit. This is Carvis and I went ahead and put a carbon fiber background on this and then I went ahead and adjusted the opacity. Now when you save these and export them, make sure to keep that gamma layer on. If it doesn't save that gamma, you won't end up with your uh, translucence or your blank imagery on the side. Now you can go through the theme directory here on their wiki page and it shows you all the codes that they have available. And as you can see here, I can just copy and paste any of these codes in. So this is what's currently in my tablet. This is how it looked, you can see here with the translucent gauges. And I'm just gonna back those up inside the tablet. The tablet doesn't recognize other files inside there, it just ignores them. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the files that I wanna use. Now the current files that I brought in, this is how it's looking like with the settings here. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim back some of these numbers here so that I don't have uh, such an issue with the borders carrying any of those tick marks. So I'm gonna bring those tick marks in a little bit. Go back into the theme directory and I'm gonna replace the properties with the new properties file. So I'm gonna drop that in, copy and replace. And once again, here's where you wanna make sure that you shrink down that canvas so that it wraps perfectly around that gauge. Otherwise, you're gonna, it's not gonna line up correctly on the gauge. So that's how you want it to look. Now I'm gonna do the same blue on this display gauge. Now you can actually change the fonts inside the properties. Basically, just like they say on their on their website, you just go in here, you type in font equals string, so whatever your sans serif times, whatever you want. However, I chose to actually do a TTF file. So the, the TTF file looks kind of like this, and this is for a specific type of font. You can Google and find these anywhere you want. Basically, it's just a bunch of different sizes of the exact same thing. Drag, drop that into your theme directory on your tablet, and then now you have your new font. Now, this might change some of the spacing that you have on your setup, so just keep that in mind. You might have to go back and tweak some of the sizes or offsets. All right, so we want something more specific for our RPM data. So instead of having this intake graph and this intake display, we're just going to have an RPM graph. We're going to move our volts to the left. Now we're going to do all of that in the tablet itself. But what we're going to do here is we're actually going to modify just the RPM data so that we get a half circle right in here. Now if you try to do the half circle in the tablet, you end up with a square display that has a semicircle in it, which is a bit more annoying. All right, guys. Thanks for watching How to Create Your Own Torque Theme Part 1. Now. On the next episode, we're going to go ahead and finish up this display. We're going to go ahead and create our custom RPM curves, which again, we can apply to any other gauge in the layout specifically and target which ones we want. So make sure to subscribe to get the update for when that video comes out. It should be out in the next week or so. And then please make sure to, you know, give a like if you guys liked it. If not, always, you know, feel free to comment and tell me why it sucked or what could be better. And thanks guys.